welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. And today I am working on something that I was on the design team for last July. And this is a kit from Tanya at Taddy Treasures and Nanine at Collage Type. I will link their information below. And I am using kits that they went together on. And I am calling this, I have been calling this whole thing Ancient Arboretum. And I've made these last summer and I will link the playlist for all of these pieces. Let's see, these I did not. These were pieces from the kit. Let's see, what did I make? I made, here we go. I made this and this and this as a part of that design team. I feel like there was something else, but I don't recall what it was. But I'm revisiting it because I think that I want to go ahead. I've got enough stuff just from the, these kits to make a few more journals. And today I'm just going to really quick make a long, tall journal. This one's going to be 11 by four and a half ish. And I have already figured out my papers. Matter of fact, these have been sorted out probably since last summer and sitting in my um, little organizer tote that I use to get my things ready to make journals. This is an old hanging file folder and I like the green with all of the things going on inside of this. So I turned it inside out. This is going to be covered. And I'm going to cover it with this. It looks like stucco to me, like old, old stucco or concrete or plaster or something. So I thought it went well with the theme of the ancient architecture, ancient arboretum. I think I actually did make a full journal on that one. I don't know. I'll have to check out the playlist myself, but I'm going to continue because I actually have, I think four other journals set up to make out of this. I'm going to go ahead and glue this, but I want to make sure that it's centered as much as possible. So let's see, this is 17, so eight and a half is the center. You would think that that would be a little different. Anyway, I am going to center this on there and I am going to glue it and then I am going to bring these corners in to finish the edges. So let's see, I want to put the glue on the right side of it. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. And I am just using my Fabri-Tac. This is, this is my favorite liquid glue. I know a lot of people have differing opinions as do I about other liquid glues. So if you are going to make this along with me, then you use the glue that you like. I am not going to hold it against you. And I'm going to make sure and put plenty of glue right here in the center because that's the working part. It's the part that gets moved a lot. And then I'm just going to come around the edges. Don't have to put glue all in the center of it. Or I mean, not the center, but the middle of each side. That would be the center of each side, right? This part here. I don't have to. I'm actually going to just because... I can. Now I'm just going to center this the best of my ability. I think that's pretty close. If not exactly, it's pretty close enough. How about that? All right, so now I am going to fold these up on the sides and I need to get my bone folder out right there. It was convenient. Didn't even know it was turned to me. All right, I'm gonna do that on the other side and I am making what I'm doing by creasing it already on the edges. I am giving myself a marker for where I need to trim off the edges. or not the edges, but trim off this corner up here so that it will lie flat. I 
because when I do this, I can see where my excess material is going to be because of the fold lines. See, there's a line right there and a line right there. And I can just take my scissors. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I wanna make sure that my corner is covered. So I'm gonna come in and I'm just going to clip along those lines. And if I don't get it perfect, it's okay because I can always fix my mistakes when making a journal. There's always something you can do. If you mess up, it's not forever. <clears throat> All right, so I think, I think I've got those well done. And I want to glue these little pieces in first because I want my bigger pieces to kind of cover that edge because I can glue something up here like lace or something else to cover this up. I don't know if I could do it that way as easily. I don't think so. But I can see right now that I need to trim just a little bit more off of that. Actually, on these smaller pieces, I probably needed to come in at more of an angle so that that could be covered. Right now I'm going to glue it in there. <laughs> I am trying to get a couple of videos made ahead. I'm getting ready to go to Phoenix tomorrow morning. Never been to Phoenix. I'm kind of looking forward to it. We are going because our college team is in the Final Four. And we're super, super excited about it. All right. So I keep smoothing those down until that glue has gripped and dried just a little bit. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to see if I need to trim. Sometimes your creases aren't straight as they should be, or at least my creases are not as straight as they should be. So I'm checking that out and those are okay. So I am going to put my scissors back up. I'm still trying to figure out this new setup on my camera. The lighting may be weird because it's a very overcast, gloomy day. And my daughter informed me that on one of my recent videos, I looked like I had a very, very, very dark tan. And she's like, but you can't get in the sun, mommy. <laughs> I'm basically allergic to the sun due to some medical things and some medications that I'm on. Can't get in the ocean because I'm allergic to something that's in that water. I can do lakes and creeks and rivers and all that. But the ocean, there's something about the ocean that just causes my legs to swell ridiculously. So I love cruises, but I'm allergic to the sun and the sea. All right, so now 
I'm gonna have to finagle a little bit. I probably should have cut a little V up there, but now it's, it is too late for that, but it'll be okay. And I'm going to fold this in half. It shouldn't be too hard because the file folder already had that pretty much permanent fold, but I did turn it inside out. So I'm gonna have to train it just a little bit. I'm pretty sure I've not made a journal like this, a long, tall journal. It's gonna be a little bit different on putting it together because I'm not sure a three-hole pamphlet stitch is gonna be the best idea for this length. I'm thinking maybe two of them. I'm thinking that I could divide this in half and put a three-hole pamphlet and a three-hole pamphlet. We'll see. I'm not to that part just yet, but I'm really, really close. And I'm just checking and everything is enclosed. And then you open it up. Yeah, I like that. So I think what I need to do is go through now and decide, am I gluing these pages together? Because this printed out on regular weight copy paper. I don't usually print my journal pages on that, but my computer is arguing with me. Not my computer. My printer is arguing with me here lately. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side with a weight on it to help keep it flat. And I'm gonna go through here and see what I need to do. All right, so I am just gonna glue all these pages together and I will be right back. As I was gluing the pages together, I came to the middle and found that I had this page that was like this and I have nothing to glue to it there. So I am going to do this. I'm going to open up this next page here that I've already glued the other side together. These sides, I have already glued all of them together. What I'm going to do is take this one, fold it back the other direction. And then I'm going to glue it between those two pages like that. I didn't glue together as easily as the other pages, but probably because I had to finagle. Okay, so now I can go back and continue gluing the pages together like I was. <laughs> and I used up all of my glue stick. Okie doke. Now, I have this creep going on. And creep is when your pages when you do this, you get the edges that kind of creep out from your front page toward your center page. And so I'm gonna take this over to my paper cutter and I'm gonna even up those edges. All right, so those are all even. Get my cover out here. And that's what it's gonna look like right now. I need to go through and decorate the pages that have to be decorated before. Actually, you know what? Since I've glued those together, well, no, I can still take those apart. So I'm gonna go through and 
decorate the pages that need to be decorated before it gets sewn into the journal. And then I will do the, the signature ties. And I do think that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put three here and three here, just to make sure that everything is in there nice and secure. All right, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it is going to be something. I love those pages and I think that it's going to be really cool. Like I said, I don't think I've ever made anything like this tall of one before. And it's a single signature, which I don't tend to do very often. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye.